Hi, I'm Amy from Eat Spares, and in this video I'll be showing you what to do if your Samsung American Style Fridge Freezer isn't producing enough ice or has stopped ice production altogether. There are a number of reasons as to why your fridge freezer may not be producing ice, so I'm going to take you through a few checks and help you resolve any issues. First things first, it's a good idea to check that the child lock icon hasn't been activated as this will disable the ice dispenser. To check this, all you need to do is look out for the small lock icon which will be lit up and to disable it, all you need to do is hold down the vacation and the fridge options at the same time for three seconds. If the child lock isn't on, then the next thing to check is the fridge freezer door. The ice maker cannot dispense ice if the fridge freezer door isn't shut properly. Check that nothing's obstructing your door from closing or that anything's fallen down the back of the drawers behind your fridge freezer. If nothing's obstructing the doors, then you'll need to check the door seal. Check if there are any cracks or damages that might prevent it from shutting properly, which will prevent ice from being produced. You can also go around the outside of the door with your hand checking for any cold air that might be escaping. If you can feel any cold air on your hands, then your door seal will need replacing. You can also check the door seal by placing a sheet of paper between the door and the fridge. If you can pull the sheet of paper out without any resistance, then you'll be in need of a new door seal. If you are in need of a replacement, we'll link down below in the description where you can get your hands on one. To get the correct door seal for your machine, you'll need to know your model number. If you're unsure where to find your model number, we have a helpful video up here telling you exactly where to find it on your appliance. As you can see on this machine, the model number is right here. Next up, we need to check and clear the ice container itself. If your ice maker hasn't been used for a long time or your freezer is set to too low of a temperature, this can cause ice to build up and cause a blockage. But to sort this out, you can simply remove the ice container and then remove any blockages that might be there. If the ice in the container is clumped together, then tip the ice away into the sink and replace it into your fridge freezer to allow a new batch of ice to be made. As well as the ice container, ice can also build up underneath the ice maker too. Checking regularly and shifting the ice forward may correct this problem. However, it's important to dispense ice regularly to stop this from happening. If you know you won't use your ice maker for a prolonged period of time, make sure to turn it off by pressing this button until the ice off icon illuminates. If there are no blockages, you'll need to reset the ice maker. You can do that by removing the ice bucket and locating the test button, which is a small rectangular button, which can normally be found on the front side or bottom of most models. As you can see, ours is this one here, but normally they say test or have an arrow pointing towards them. Press and hold the test button for three to 10 seconds. You should either hear a chime or the ice tray motor will start turning. The test will take about six minutes and at the end of the test you may hear another chime. Once it's been reset, it can take up to 24 hours for the ice maker to start creating ice again. Another cause of no ice production could be if your fridge freezer is too full. Overfilling your fridge freezer means that the air has to work harder to circulate around the inside, meaning your appliance has to work harder to stay at the right temperature. Your ice maker will not turn on unless your fridge freezer is at the correct temperature, so that could be what's causing the issue. If your fridge freezer still isn't producing ice, then you'll need to check the water supply. If your fridge freezer runs off a water tank, then you'll need to make sure that the tank is clean and full of water. But if your fridge freezer is plumbed into the mains water, then there are a few more checks that you'll need to make. You'll also need to check the water valve, and you can find this at the point where your refrigerator water supply line taps into your house water line. Just note that the dispenser also won't work if the water is switched off. Make sure that the hose isn't damaged or blocked and make sure that the water pressure is high enough too. For an ice maker to work, the water pressure needs to be at at least 25 PSI. One way to check if the water pressure is too low is to dispense the water from your ice maker into a measuring container for at least 10 seconds. You should get at least 150 millilitres of water and if you get less than that, your water pressure is too low. A potential cause of low water pressure is a kink in the supply line or a clogged water filter in your appliance. So the next check will be to take a look at your water filter. The next check is to ensure that the water filter is properly fixed. 
The arrow water flow on the filter should be pointing towards the fridge. The water filter on your fridge freezer makes sure that your water is clean and free from contaminants. To make sure this doesn't get blocked, you should replace it every six months. The display screen on your fridge freezer should alert you when the filter needs replacing by the filter icon turning red. If you suspect that your water filter has become blocked or damaged, it's best just to replace it. If you are in need of a replacement, we'll link down below in the description where you can get your hands on one, but you will need to know your appliance's model number. So if you're still unsure of your model number, you can refer back to the video we linked earlier in this video. And there you have it. We hope these checks have helped you solve the problem of your ice maker not dispensing ice and that your fridge freezer is back up and running again. If your fridge freezer still isn't producing ice though, you may need to replace the ice maker altogether. So check out the video below where we'll take you through a step-by-step -step guide on how to do that. Before you go though, please subscribe to our channel for plenty more appliance repairs, maintenance videos, and all things e-spares. Thanks for watching.